what we learned on Project Convergence is it's the integration of various sensors and effectors. You know, all the lessons from Ukraine were absolutely key. We've operated first-person view drones, uh, counter UAS systems, and one of our experts on that uh, in the two Royal Yorks uh, battle group uh, was called Pretes here, who can talk you through some of the lessons he learned on these near-surface warfare systems. So uh, just to get you started off, uh, one of the best pieces of kit we've got is the Night Fighter X. So this has a, a capable range of up to about seven kilometers, which is extremely good for us, and it fires um, RF in a cone shape. So obviously the, the further away it goes, uh, the bigger the cone gets. And uh, with this, we can um, disrupt drone, um, any drone flights for, uh, for communication from the actual controller itself to the drone. We've also had a couple of Ukrainians come in and talk to us as well. So um, this also gets used on the front lines in Ukraine and uh, they say it's a vital piece of kit. We also have our own FPV drones. We, um, this one is we have the Neos Archer. It's um, extremely good, uh, cheap, cost effective and has um, about a 40k range. So then we can use that either in, in, uh, in compliance with this. So we can then jam the drone, uh, send it back to its home location and as a, as a FPV pilot I can then put this drone above that uh, enemy drone, follow it back and then either find and follow the, uh, the enemy drone pilot or smash him right there and then. What else we've got to counter the, um, the UAS threat is the RF Detect. So all this is, it's a, it's a portable device that puts, emits a 2K uh, bubble around you that also detects when enemy drones go up and it can also detect controllers as well. Um, when we go into it, we can go into its settings and then we can also find out exactly what frequency the drone is flying on at and um, exactly what frequency the, uh, the controller is being used to control the drone so we can know both the frequency of the drone controller and the drone itself. This links into the drone gun and to the night fighter. We can then put these on specific frequencies that we know the drones are flying on and then target that, uh, uh, that drone itself. So what we're seeing here is we've taken all the lessons from the land operating concept and all those lessons from Ukraine, from current operations we've seen, as also broader around the world, and we've developed how to fight differently. Uh, the real focus on what we call near surface warfare, as well as the traditional ground manoeuvre. We integrated on Project Convergence a whole range of sensors, effectors, both surface and importantly near surface. So things like counter UAS systems, our drones, ground sensors and fought those against a world-class OP4 out on Project Convergence this year to test these new tactics and prove that they work.